Hey guys, and welcome back to Command and Conquer. When we last left off, we were taking ownership of this part of the map. And it seems to be going okay. Kind of. Let's pull these guys back. Construction complete. My washing machine repair guy did indeed come out. And it was quite funny. Because uh, he'd ordered the wrong... Well, he didn't. It wasn't him, personally. Uh, they had ordered the wrong part. As Sod's Law would dictate. We're going to lose these bikes. And uh, to that end... He's coming out again next week. But it was quite funny, because he turned out and he's... Just, he's <laughs> He's like, damn, that's one hell of a setup you've got there. He's like, uh, you like gaming or something? I was like... You think? What gives it away, buddy? Ah, you... Dickheads. Shit. Um... That's less than optimal. That's definitely less than optimal. Go flatline that guy. Shit. Can we, like, burn this guy, please? Okay, cool. Okay, that'll work for now. We did literally just lose all of that money. Which sucks. Really badly. Um, right, we are kind of getting ready for the final Building. push here. Let's make sure all of our dudes are locked and ready to roll. Yes, sir. Moving out. These Unit flame tanks are out. seriously fucked. Yes, sir. I'm not sure if yes, sir. the Unit flame reporting. tanks take damage as well. Yes, I'm going to assume they probably do. You would have thought... Part of the design would have made these things flame resistant. But what what do I know? You Construction know? complete. Right. Yes, sir. No. Let's get these guys patched up. And they've got another harvester coming down. Let's go light his ass up. Yes, sir. Ouch. Yes, sir. That wasn't fantastic. Can we, like, fry these guys, please? Is that, like, something that we can do? Wow, these flamethrower tanks really do some damage against uh, harvesters. Which is really cool to see. Alright, you're ready. You're yes, almost sir. dead. Personally, I wouldn't like to drive one Unit of these flame report. tanks. I get the feeling that uh, you're Unit. probably going to have a bad time if something goes wrong. Yes, sir. I'm just saying, okay? I don't think uh, they're as sturdy as they could be. Moving out. Yes, sir. But they were massively out, improved. With the Mark II and whatnot. Out. Yes, sir. Now, actually, yes, sir. let's get you patched up because yes, you're sir. kind of fucked. Yes, sir. Let's yes, prioritize sir. repairs. Prioritize repairs. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then we're going to bum Wait rush their base. Another harvester. Oh. Yes, sir. Seriously, Moving guys, come back. That's going to be an RTB. Go roast them. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to repair all these guys quick enough. Let's get these uh, patched up. Okay, good enough. Moving out. Yes, sir. 
Man, they're so expensive. Really don't need that again back to base. Guys! Come on! Yeah, he's fucked. Nice. Alright, well... Let's just rush these guys. Yes, sir. All right, drop your load. Yes, you patch up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We should yes, sir. basically be on point yes, here. Lost. And we're going to flame our own yes, dudes sir. as well yes, because that's how this game rolls. Nice. Although. Nice. That is working. Rather nicely. I might add. Oh, this is going to be delicate. This is going to be really delicate. Yeah, so much of our equipment is kind of damaged beyond repair. Can we remove that, please? Okay, that'll do. Yes, sir. Oh God, no, no, no! That's okay. That could have been so much worse. Okay. Yes, sir. Drop your load. Yes, sir. Right, let's just charge. Oh, you're kidding. Where are you getting all this cash from? Roger. No way. Seriously, no way. Right, can we go to work on these guys, please? There we go. Right, kill it. That's fine. Okay, let's just push. Push for the towers. Push for the towers, guys. Prioritize targets. Come on. That'll work. Alright, Orcas next. Nice. And you guys are toast. Good night. Okay. That will do nicely. Wow, we're literally on like eight minutes. Holy crap. Looks like this is going to be a very quick video, guys. Well, that's okay. I'm curious to see how good one of these is on its own. Pretty effective. I wouldn't say they're super effective, but they're not. Oh god. Oh man. But they're not. Not bad. You can see how good they are against like buildings, though. They're incredibly yes, effective against buildings. The range on them isn't too bad either. Unit reporting. Certainly adequate, put it that way. Okay, so we've got a Humvee there. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. I wonder if one of those yes, with that yes, much sir. health can take out a Humvee. Wow. They really do eat buildings for breakfast. Really want to see how well? No, we're not going to see it, are we? Never mind. Yes, sir. No, yes, sir. Right, with that, they're done. Mission accomplished. Woo! Not bad. Not bad at all. Did that much quicker that time? Are we really going to have like an eight-minute video? I mean, I guess. I thought we were going to have a lot more resistance than that base, if I'm being honest. I thought we were going to have a lot more um, 
Resistance. But no matter. So let's see where we're heading next. Now. Hmm, they are sneaking in again. Where should we go? Should we cut off that little chunk there or should we fold into this bit? Let's go this way. Angolia. Alright, what you got for us, buddy? Here you see Tiberium. Hmm? Some say it is the root of all that we fight for. But the wise man will judge for himself. Tiberium is named after the Tiber River in Italy where it was first discovered. Discovered by the Brotherhood, that is, and I named it after Tiberius Drusus Caesar. There are now more than 200 areas of the Earth affected by Tiberium deposits. Tiberium appears to be spreading by means of conveyance unknown. Mm. Unknown to them, perhaps. Not good. Dr. Mobius, tell our viewers just what Tiberium really is. I love this. Molecularly, it's a non-carbon based element mm. that appears to have strong An obvious lunatic. With mm. non-resonating reversible energy that has a tendency to disrupt carbon based molecular structures with inconsequent and in, in, uh, unequal positrons orbiting on the first, second, and ninth quark rings. I oh, see. Is that good or bad? Well, let me put it this way, Eddie. The possibilities of Tiberium are limitless. Mm. I suppose that's correct. We now know that not only does Tiberium leach elements from the soil, but it appears to also leach vital nutrients from all plant life. Human contact with Tiberium is extremely uh -oh. toxic and oh, often good. fatal. Thought it crashed. To be avoided. This is true. Deploy your troops accordingly. Hey, Stubbles. GDI and the Brotherhood view the benefits and the threats of Tiberium differently. They see a scientific anomaly, a curiosity. I see the future. In their stubborn ignorance, they continue to try and forestall this future. Somewhere in this region is a top secret GDI research lab headed by Dr. Wong Hu Chan, a sadly misled, although brilliant scientist. I suspect he is leading a research team in the process of developing a devastating new ion weapon. It is imperative that you locate this lab and terminate the good doctor before research is completed. Damn. Once you locate the base, one of your snipers should finish the job. Go quickly. Hmm. Shut down the iron cannon, eh? Well. Unfortunately, that's going to have to wait for the next video, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. When we return, uh, I guess we're doing a bit of uh, wet work. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, till next time.